यूसुफ आप वो रिवीजन क्लासेस नहीं आ रहे हैं ना सर सर या आई वाज हैविंग स्कूल क्लासेस सो आई कुडंट जॉइन स्कूल में क्या पढ़ा रहा है अभी यस सर व्हाट आर द टीचिंग इन स्कूल राइट नो आई मीन इज इट हॉलिडे या इट्स लाइक अ रिवीजन क्लासेस फ्रॉम स्कूल ऑनलाइन ऑफलाइन um offline oh, offline um, but yes i watched the lectures of revision classes so you have you are watching the recordings okay fine so uh, whenever you watch the recording try to uh, study the topic on your own first of all and uh, then watch the uh, revision classes and also you must have seen that uh, that revision is not a thing we are just doing previous year questions hai right? na so it will be good if you have slight idea that for example method of preparation then what are the methods of preparation it should mean it should not be like uh, i am saying gatterman coach reaction and you don't even remember what is gatterman coach reaction slightly also theek okay? hai so if you revise yourself the content and then do the practice questions in the revision class then all of those things will be enforced theek okay? hai and जो थ्योरी वाला रिवीजन है ना वो भी हम करा रहे हैं लेकिन दिस इज मोर इम्पोर्टेंट दैट इज वाई इसको हम पहले कर ले रहे हैं ठीक है थ्योरी वाला भी रिवीजन क्लासेस होगा चलिए वन मोर मिनट प्लीज अस्सलाम नॉट हियर यूजुअली व्हेन टाइम before moving to the dual condensation and those type of reactions let us do one question from ncert please write this reaction so write this question my bad at this question an organic compound a with molecular formula c8h8o forms an orange red precipitate with 2,4 dnp reagent and gives yellow precipitate on heating with iodine in the presence of sodium hydroxide it neither reduces tollens or felling's reagent nor does it decolorize bromine water or bs reagent on drastic oxidation with chromic acid it gives carboxylic acid uh, carboxylic acid b having a molecular formula c7 that means one carbon atom atom has been reduced c7h6o2 identify the compounds a and b and explain the reactions involved Okay. I hope all of you have written this. Yeah, sorry, written this question. Now, the first part of the question is an organic compound with molecular formula C eight H eight O. Now, this also gives an information, but uh, this formula also gives an information, but we don't need it right now. C eight H eight O. The only information that you are going to take it from here is that since we are having only one oxygen, it can be a few things. It can be either alcohol, or it can be ether. 
or it can be aldehyde or it can be a ketone. Make sense? Yes or no? Please tell me, guys. Since it is yeah. having a oxygen atom, con con se functional group mein ho sakta hai, na? aldehyde or it is a ketone. Theek hai? As soon as you uh, saw the formula, you can think about these things. Then it says that it forms an orange red precipitate with 2 4 DNP reagent. And you have studied that 2 4 DNP reagent, it is used for the detection of aldehyde and ketone ketonic group, that C double bond O groups. That means we can forget about alcohol and ether. Now, our options has been, I mean, we narrowed down to aldehyde and ketone. So it is either an aldehyde or a ketone. Then it is saying and gives, it is also saying, and it gives yellow precipitate on heating with iodine in the presence of sodium hydroxide. Now, in the last lecture, we have seen what is this? So let's suppose we have a compound A, and I'm reacting this with iodine in the presence of NaOH. Now, so iodine plus NaOH it is going to give you sodium hypohalite, NaOI. And in result, whatever you are forming, that is a yellow precipitate, that yellow precipitate is because of CHI3, that is iodoform. It means A gives iodoform test. Now, if it gives iodoform test, that means I can also say that it has, rather I should write A has, A has CH3 C double fragment. Does this make sense? Yes or no? Please tell me, guys. Yes, sir. What about others? Azlan, Krishna, Priya, and Safiya? Make yes. sense everything till now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Again, this is how you have to think about the question. Now, once you are done with this, now, like once you have got CST C double bond, you can see that at least for this question, what do you do? You remove three, one carbon. So you can remove two carbons from here. From this formula, C8H8O, I have taken care of two carbon atoms, three hydrogen and one oxygen. So when you remove this fragment, no, CH3, to understand what is the other fragment, you know, what is attached to carbon atom, then you can see that you remove two carbon, it will become C6. If you remove three hydrogens, it will become H5. And you have removed also one oxygen atom. So C6, H5, I hope this is very much clear to you guys. C6, H5 is actually phenyl. So our compound is going to be, you, you can have an idea right now. Right? Most probably your compound is a benzene ring that is attached with carbon with a double bond O and then it is attached with a CH3. According to the formula, you can have this idea. Make sense, yes or no, please tell me. Yes, sir. Okay. I'm not saying that you are going to write that this is the compound because now since you have, once you have a molecule, right, then it is easier to understand the question and it is easier to validate validate whether this molecule that you are thinking about is right or wrong. Okay. So we have this particular molecule in our head right now. This is our, let us, uh, let us say that this is our assumption or let us suppose that this is what best that we could do right now. And then we will validate everything that we are reading from here. Then it says that it neither reduces tolerance or failings reagent. Now this will also not, it is not going to do anything to the tolerance or failings reagent because we have a ketonic group. That means this particular line is also validated. Our molecule is correct till now. Then we have, then we have, nor does it decolorize bromine water or base reagent. Now bromine water and base reagent, what are these used for? This is bromine water. You may have seen bromine water previously, like in base, previously in the same class. But Bayer's reagent, you must have seen in the 11th standard. So Bayer's reagent in the bromine water, it is used for checking alkene or alkyne. Okay. Now, since we have a benzene ring, benzene ring has double bond, has unsaturation, but it does not show reactions such as that of alkene. So from here, like if there is anything, which is C6H5, Okay. And it is like, for example, even if it is C6H6, alkene type of formula, hai. we have a formula like that of alkene and it is not decolorizing bromine water and base reagent. That means for sure it is what it is going to be 
If it is not decalinizing, that means it is going to be benzene ring. Because benzene ring is the only type of, it is the only type of molecule which has double bond, but it does not show the reactions as that of alkene. After that, it is saying on drastic oxidation with chromic acid, it gets carboxylic acid B having molecular formula C7H6O2. Now, for sure, if you are going to oxidize ketone, C double bond O and CS3, you can see that you have H2CRO4. You can see here that this particular oxygen atom will be in resonance with the double bonds of the benzene ring. Okay? Like this. So you can also see that this particular bond is partial double bond. That means when we are oxidizing ketone, carbon carbon bonds break. Right? And when it, they break, it is going to give you C double bond O and OH. That is the carboxylic acid. Now this carboxylic acid, if you look at the formula, you are having C6H5, COOH. And if you are going to look at the exact formula, this will be c 7 h 6 O2. And this is exactly the C7H6O2. This is the carboxylic acid, the compound B that we needed. Now it is saying identify the compounds A and B. So this is my compound A on B. Yeah. I'm trying to write the song. Now, ABCD type of questions will be there in the examination, and uh, I will take a separate session once we complete. Uh, till a means that is uh, somewhere in the next week i will be taking a class on uh, abcd type of questions and is tarah ke jo sawal previous years mein hai we'll do all those questions in one of the sessions to wahan pe fir aapko aur zyada idea lagega how to deal with this type of questions aur ek sawal to generally rehta hi hai abcd type wala five marks ka right this down raise your hand once you're done Waiting for Yusuf and Mir. Just waiting for me now. I don't know whether me, me let me know if you are here in the class. Next, you will write the reactions due to alpha hydrogen. Reactions due to alpha hydrogen. Okay. Please write here, guys. Aldehydes and ketones containing at least containing at least one alpha hydrogen. are acidic in nature. Due to strong 
electron withdrawing. Effect of carbonyl group and resonance stabilized conjugate base. Okay. What does all of these things mean? See, let us suppose we have a carbonyl carbon like this. Okay. And adjacent to this carbonyl carbon, so now see here, this here uh, on the left side of the carbonyl carbon, you can have aldehyde or hydrogen. So ketone or uh, aldehyde, don't know valid, whatever we are going to talk. Okay. Now, this is the carbonyl group. Okay. This is the group. And adjacent to this, we have a carbon atom. Now, let us suppose this carbon is attached to a few things, and it is also attached to at least one hydrogen should be present. There is one hydrogen present here. Okay. It may be attached to other things also, but it doesn't matter. Now, this is our alpha carbon because the carbon atom that is directly connected with the carbonyl carbon is known as what? Alpha carbon. Now, since we are having alpha carbon, which is having a hydrogen, and we are seeing that it is it will show acidic nature. So when it shows acidic nature, what will happen? There will be a base. Base will attack the hydrogen, and the hydrogen is going to give electron density to the carbon atom. Okay. Now, what is going to happen? You can see carbon, double bond oxygen, and here we have single bond carbon. It has the two bonds remaining, and there is a negative charge on this carbon atom. As soon as this carbon atom gets a negative charge, one of the conditions of resonance is possible here. This negative charge can go between these two carbon atoms, and this pi bond can break, and it will go to the oxygen atom. So we can have a resonating structure, which is like this. This carbon is having something here. Carbon, single bond oxygen with a negative charge, double bond carbon with two groups attached. Now, because it is resonance stabilized, that is why this alpha hydrogen, it can be acidic and it may, it will show acidic nature. That means if you add a base, then base will attack on the hydrogen atom. Base will attack on the hydrogen atom and it will abstract it because this alpha hydrogen of the carbonyl carbons, these are acidic in nature. Makes sense. And they are acidic. Why they are acidic? Because it's a polarization. That means because of the C double bond owner, this is sp2 carbon hybridized. It is pulling electron density. And that is why there is a partial positive charges on the hydrogen atom. That is one reason. Other reason is that if you remove the hydrogen, then also whatever conjugate base we are getting, that is resonance stabilized. And that is why this is quite acidic. Makes sense, everyone. Yusuf, Arslan, Krishna Priya, Meer, and Sophia. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Copy, copy this down. Raise your hand once you're done writing. Waiting for Shapriya and Meer. The first reaction that we have to study uh, in which we will be studying the acidic nature of alpha hydrogen, it is aldol condensation.
उसके बाद फिर हम लोग मैकेनिज्म को देखेंगे ठीक है सो प्लीज राइट हियर एल्डीहाइड एंड कीटोन्स एल्डीहाइड एंड कीटोन्स हैविंग एटलीस्ट वन अल्फा हाइड्रोजन अंडर बोस self condensation in the presence of dilute alkali to form beta hydroxy aldehyde and if it is a ketone then beta hydroxy ketone beta hydroxy ketone theek hai now as you can see hydroxy group bhi hai aapke paas aur aldehyde bhi hai to in general in ko hum एल्डोल बोलते हैं जिस बीटा हाइड्रोक्सी और एल्डिहाइड तो एक सेकंड बीटा हाइड्रोक्सी को इन जनरल एल्डोल बोला जाता है एंड दीज आर आल्सो जनरली नोन एज कीटोल ठीक है तो दिस इज एक्चुअली दी दिस इज एक्चुअली व्हाट द एल्डोल कंडेंसेशन रिएक्शन ठीक है नाउ इफ यू हीट द बीटा हाइड्रोक्सी प्रोडक्ट देन यू गेट अनदर प्रोडक्ट बट पहले एल्डोल समझ लेते हैं क्या होता है एल्डोल एक बार अच्छे से आ जाए फिर हम लोग उसका उसके बाद हम लोग हीट करके आगे उसको रिएक्ट कर सकते हैं नाउ इट इज सेइंग फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल कि सेल्फ कंडेंसेशन दैट मींस कंडेंसेशन का मतलब दो चीजों का जुड़ जाना ठीक है सो वी आर टेकिंग एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ एसिड एंड और वी कॉल इट ऑल्सो इथेनल है ना फॉर एग्जाम्पल वी आर टेकिंग इथेनल इज ऑल्सो नोन एज एसिड एंड ठीक है आई एम शोइंग यू गाइज द रिएक्शन यू डोंट हैव टू राइट इट नाउ ध्यान से देखिएगा बस सो वी हैव सी एच थ्री सी एच ओ ट्वाइस एंड इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ ओ एच नेगेटिव दिस इज वॉट यू विल बी यू गाइज विल बी गिवन इवन दो समटाइम्स यू नॉट बी इवन गिवन टू मोल्स ऑफ सी एच थ्री सी एच ओ है ना या जस्ट राइट यूजली रहता है लेकिन कभी कभी नहीं भी रह सकता एंड वॉट यू विल बी गेटिंग इज सी एच थ्री bonded to carbon which is having o other bonded to carbon this carbon is having one hydrogen this carbon is having ch2 and it is having ch okay now how this reaction how to write this type of product wo hum pehle aap logo ko samjha dete hain theek hai uske baad fir hum log products wagaira banate hain first of all what you will do ek to hamesha aap dekhiye agar aapko aldehyde ya ketone diya hua hai and you have been given a base in the base you can have naoh You can also have barium hydroxide BaOH whole twice. ठीक है इस तरह से कोई भी आपको बेस दिया रहेगा या फिर OH negative they would have given. Now what you need to do is you need even if the two molecules is not given तब भी आप मान के चलेंगे that when you have aldehyde and a base that means there will be two molecules. Now there is a way of writing those two molecules. ठीक है क्या है तरीका लिखने का? You have to expand the carbonyl of one molecule first of all. आप CH3CHO में कार्बोनिल को एक्सपैंड करेंगे CH3 विल बी एज इट इज एंड यू विल एक्सपैंड द कार्बोनिल लाइक दिस C डबल बॉन्ड O एंड यू विल पुट द हाइड्रोजन हियर लाइक दिस सो वी आर वी ऑफ डूइंग दिस बट स्टिल यू विल एक्सपैंड व्हाट यू विल एक्सपैंड द कार्बोनिल इन एंड फॉर द अदर मॉलिक्यूल यू विल एक्सपैंड द अल्फा कार्बन दिस इज द अल्फा कार्बन यू विल एक्सपैंड इट कार्बन व्हिच इज हैविंग व्हाट थ्री हाइड्रोजंस एंड दिस CHO विल बी एज इट इज The CHO will be as it is. Now, what you need to do is, ध्यान से देखिए, होता है actually में क्या है? यहाँ से आपके पास ये hydrogen निकलता है, फिर उसके बाद 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 ये hydrogen निक
तो लाइट सी एच थ्री बॉन्डेड टू कार्बन ना ऑक्सीजन तो डबल बॉन्ड से नहीं हो जाएगा सिंगल बॉन्ड हो जाएगा एंड दिस हाइड्रोजन इज एज इट इज दिस कार्बन विल बी बॉन्डेड टू दिस कार्बन बिकॉज दिस हाइड्रोजन इज गॉन दिस कार्बन इज बॉन्डेड टू दिस कार्बन आइटम दिस कार्बन आइटम टू हाइड्रोजन एज इट इज दिस इज हैविंग टू हाइड्रोजन एज इट इज एंड फर्दर यू विल एड सी एच एज यू कैन सी दिस इज माई फंक्शन ग्रुप दिस इज माई एल्फा कार्बन दिस इज माई बीटा कार्बन एंड दिस इज गोइंग टू बी बीटा हाइड्रोक्सी एंड डिहाइन ठीक है ना वॉट यू नीड टू डू उसको हम बता रहे हैं यहाँ पे ठीक है फर्स्ट स्टेप में क्या एक फॉर वन मॉलिक्यूल यू विल एक्सपैंड एक्सपैंड कार्बोनिल ऑफ वन मॉलिक्यूल एक्सपैंड एल्फा कार्बन ध्यान रखिएगा एल्फा कार्बन ठीक है ना आइडेंटिफाई कर लीजिएगा एल्फा कौन सा एल्फा कार्बन ऑफ अनदर third me what we need to do shift alpha hydrogen to c double bond o to oxygen of c double bond o to oxygen of c double bond o theek hai oxygen of c double bond o mix it chalo kar lenge ha ya na bataye हो पाएगा नहीं हो पाएगा चल नहीं सफिया अरसलान कृष्ण प्रेम यूसुफ हो जाएगा ना ठीक है प्लीज कॉपी दिस डाउन प्लीज डू इट एज आई हैव सेड है ना आप इसको कॉपी करने की कोशिश मत कीजिए ट्राई टू डू हाउ आई वाज डूइंग इट You can raise your hand once for done writing. Waiting for Meer and Safia. Moving on, we have <coughs> propanol. करते हैं, ठीक है? So propanol is CH three, CH two, CHO. Now. I will name this carbon atoms as let us suppose A, B, and C. So, first of all, tell me guys in the chat which carbon atom should I expand while writing A, B, or C? Look at the rules that we have written, the uh, steps, and tell me which carbon atom should I expand A, B, or C? 
quickly guys don't need to re write anything right now in the notebook please write in the chat a b or c which one should i expand you need to identify na the carbonyl of one molecule so what is the carbonyl please answer guys yes yusuf correct what about others aslan krishna priya safiya and meer quickly answer itna time kyun lag raha hai aap logo ko please don't write keep your pen aside please keep your pen aside and answer me a b or c which one should i expand are bhai are you guys messaging me please check you have to message salim yes aslan krishna priya safiya no idea अरे बोलो तो यार बोल भी नहीं रहे हैं ना आंसर कर रहे हैं ये सर सलान ये सर सलान सर मास्क समथिंग ना आपको नहीं पता यस सर बोल के माइक ऑफ कर लिए अटेंडेंस ले रहे हैं आप नहीं सर मुझे नहीं पता व्हाट इज द फर्स्ट लाइन रिटर्न टेल मी ये लिखा है ना आपने तीनों पॉइंट्स वन टू थ्री अरसलान सॉरी यस सर पहला वाला एक्सपैंड कार्बन ऑफ वन मॉलिक्यूल हाँ सो व्हाट इज द कार्बनिक कार्बन ए बी सी में सर सी तो क्या हो रहा है आंसर करने में आप लोगों को ध्यान से देखिए यार हम खुद कर करके निकल जाएंगे आप लोगों को पता भी नहीं लगेगा सी एस थ्री सी एच टू विल बी एज इट इज एक्सपैंड दार्बन हाउ विल यू एक्सपैंड सी डबल बॉन्ड ओ एंड हाइड्रोजन हियर प्लस ये वक्त तो नहीं पूछेंगे देन आई विल एक्सपैंड दी अल्फा कार्बन अल्फा कार्बन कौन सा यार एबीसी बोलो भाई जल्दी बोलो एबीसी में कौन सा अल्फा कार्बन डोंट नो राइट डोंट नो बट राइट क्विकली राइट डोंट नो बट राइट इट क्विकली व्हाट इज द अल्फा कार्बन हियर राइट 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 प्लीज डोंट स्पीक प्लीज डोंट स्पीक राइट राइट बाकी लोगों को भी तो मौका देना चाहिए ना आंसर करने का प्लीज राइट इन द चैट ओके यूसुफ ओके सफिया 10 सेकंड्स मोर टेन नाइन एट सेवन सिक्स फाइव फोर थ्री टू एंड वन सी इज नॉट द करेक्ट आंसर कृष्ण प्रिया सी इज द फंक्शनल ग्रुप फंक्शनल ग्रुप इज अटैच टू अल्फा कार्बन एडिसन कार्बन को अल्फा कार्बन बोलते हैं सो दिस इज द अल्फा कार्बन सो वी आर गोइंग टू एक्सपैंड वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू एक्सपैंड द सी एच टू इन दिस सी एच टू वेन यू आर वेन एवर यू आर एक्सपैंडिंग एक्सपेंशन कार्बन के बॉन्ड्स बनाने बस कुछ नहीं करना है एंड देन दिस कार्बन इज फर्दर अटैच विद सी एच ओ नाउ वॉट वी नीड टू डू वी नीड टू शिफ्ट दिस हाइड्रोजन फ्रॉम एल्फा टू ऑक्सीजन आइटम वंस यू डू दैट यू विल गेट सी एच थ्री बॉन्डेड टू सी एच टू बॉन्डेड टू कार्बन विथ ओ एच विच वॉज ऑलरेडी बॉन्डेड विथ हाइड्रोजन फर्दर यू विल हैव कार्बन which has one hydrogen atom and there is one ch3 group this is further attached with ch that's it right next here acetone dekhi isme na ab aap log thoda sa yahan pe jab aldehyde ka case aa jaye to 
तो आप लोग को थोड़ा सा अब यहाँ पे जनरलाइज करने आना चाहिए ठीक है प्रैक्टिस कीजिए इसको समझ समझ के थोड़ा दिमाग लगा के कॉपी करेंगे अगर ना तब चीजें नहीं आएंगी आप लोग को फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ यू ब्यूटेनल ब्यूटेनल सी एच थ्री सी एच टू एंड देन यू हैव सी एच टू एंड देन यू हैव सी एच ओ ठीक अब यहां से अगर आप देखें ध्यान से सो यू कैन सी दैट सी एस थ्री सी एच टू यहाँ पे है सी एस थ्री सी एच टू यहाँ पे भी सो आई राइट है सी एस थ्री सी एच टू सी एच टू विच इज बॉन्डेड विथ सी एच ओ अच्छा दिस इज इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ ओ एच नेगेटिव है ना आप ये पुराने वाले रिएक्शन में लिख लीजिए इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ ओ एच नेगेटिव यू कैन डायरेक्टली राइट द प्रोडक्ट फ्रॉम हियर जनरलाइज कीजिए यहाँ पे है ना जनरलाइज कीजिए ओ एच नेगेटिव इफ यू आर गोइंग टू जनरलाइज देन यू विल सी दैट द फर्स्ट वन एक मॉलिक्यूल का आपका ऐसे ही बिल्कुल You have CH3 as it is. You will have CH2 as it is. You will have CH2 as it is, and then this carbon atom will become OH and hydrogen here. The fourth carbon atom. This will be further bonded to carbon, which will be bonded to one hydrogen and CHO as it is. And this will be further bonded to carbon. So see, we are confirmed about these two. The CH3, CH2 is remaining. We will have CH2 and CH3 remaining here. Like this. Now, no matter how many carbon atoms are here, for example, if you have like this, na R C H two C H O, R C H two C H O, ठीक है? You identify the carbonyl carbon like sorry, you identify the aldehydes like this, and if you are reacting with O H negative, it's very easy. You will have R C H two and then carbon with O H, and this carbon has one hydrogen. Then you will have carbon with hydrogen, and then you will have R, and this will be having C H O. इसके दो मॉलिक्यूल्स यूज होते हैं ना अब ये ये आइडेंटिफिकेशन करना इनको ये पहचानना बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है इफ यू आर नॉट एबल टू जनरलाइज तो थोड़ा सा दिमाग लगाइए यहाँ पे आराम से जनरलाइज हो जाएगा लेट इज सपोज आई एम कलरिंग दिस रेड एंड लेट सपोज दिस इज इन ब्लू नाउ दिस होल पोर्शन इट बिलोंग्स टू द रेड कार्बन आट रेड मॉलिक्यूल आई वुड से एंड देन दिस होल थिंग इज बिलोंगिंग टू वॉट इट इज द ब्लू वन दस ठीक है सो इन जनरल यू कैन राइट फॉर एल डी आपके पास क्या मिलने वाला है बट यू नीड टू पुट इन सम टाइम नीड टू पुट इन सम ब्रेन आफ्टर दिस यू विल राइट एसिडोन सी एस थ्री सी डबल बॉन्ड ओ ठीक है हियर ऑल्सो वील फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल एक्सपैंड दी कार्बोनिल कार्बन टू सीओ इज द कार्बोनिल कार्बन सो विल राइट एज इट इज सी एस थ्री यू विल हैव सी डबल बॉन्ड ओ एंड हियर यू विल हैव सी एस थ्री एज यू वेर एक्सपैंडिंग लाइक दैट ओनली then you will identify which alpha carbon any of the alpha carbon because both are cs3 you don't have to worry so carbon this will have three bonds ye alpha carbon jo expand hoga na ye hamesha aise expand hoga isme kya laga hua all three are hydrogens only so you don't have to worry bonded with c double bond o bonded with cs3 same thing we have to do hydrogen will shift to oxygen atom and everything will be as it is the, this is happening in the presence of oh negative so you will have cs3 which is bonded to carbon atom This carbon atom is having OH, and here you are having CS3. No changes here. CS3, C, CS3 is as it is. Now this carbon is bonded to a carbon atom. उसके बाद सब कुछ वैसे ही. Bonded to hydrogen. This is also bonded to hydrogen. It's further bonded to C double bond. Oh, this is further bonded to CS3. And this is what this is. Carbonyl group, alpha carbon, beta carbon. And this beta is having what? Hydroxy group. So this is beta hydroxy. कीटोन
Raise your hand once you're done. दूसरा आपके पास जो कि इंपॉर्टेंट है दैट इज एसिटोफेनॉल सो वॉट इज द फॉर्म फॉर एसिटोफेनॉल यू हैव सी एस थ्री सी डबल बॉन्ड ओ मॉनेड विथ वेन्जीन लैंग्वेज Here also we are going to do the same things. We'll expand the carbonyl carbon. The carbonyl carbon can say expand करते हैं. C double bond O like this. Here you are having CS three. Here you are having. I am writing pH because तो तब बड़ा benzene में cut बना है ना. Plus you will have carbon. This carbon, this का alpha carbon. So alpha carbon is this one CS three वाला. Because this carbon it does not have any hydrogen. You'll have three groups. All of these are hydrogen. Further bonded to carbon. Double bonded with oxygen, and then you have pH in the presence of OH negative. Now here, here hydrogen will go. Oxygen will pass. We will have CS three. COH. Here you will have pH, and after that, you are going to have Carbon with two hydrogens, just further bonded with carbonyl carbon, further bonded with pH, like this. Okay, yeah. now. When you have this aromatic type of compound, then automatically what happens? Dehydration occurs here. As you can see, here we have hydrogen and this OH. This HOH it dehydrates in the presence of base also. Now when it dehydrates, you will just form a double bond here, and there is nothing else. CH three carbon double bond carbon. Single bond, C double bond, O, and then you have pH. Okay, this carbon atom here it is having pH. This carbon atom is having hydrogen. As it is, just there is a double bond, and H two O is removed from here. This H two O generally is removed after the addition of heat for the compounds such as beta hydroxy ketone or beta hydroxy aldehyde. But when you have conjugated or aromatic structures, this Double bond formation or the removal of hydro uh, removal of water it happens automatically. ठीक है. So here you write one point acidically open to aldol and ketones. Undergo dehydration automatically and forms alpha beta unsaturated. Aldehyde or ketones. Okay. In general, this happens once you have added heat. Then everyone. Anyone still writing? No, sir. No, see, okay. you're right. Next point. Aldol, sorry. Let's leave it. D. 
beta hydroxy product products formed by reaction of alkali and aldehyde or ketone undergoes dehydration when heated when heated so agar aapke paas is tarah se kuch ho ch3 cho sabse pehle agar naoh diya hai then kaise banana hai isko ch3 as it is अगले कार्बन में ओएच लग जाएगा एंड हियर यू विल हैव हाइड्रोजन फर्दर यू विल हैव व्हाट कार्बन हाइड्रोजन उसके बाद सी एच एस एट इज एंड वेन यू हीट इट दिस एच टू ओ इज बींग रिमूव पानी निकल जाएगा यहां से एंड यू विल हैव सी एस थ्री वॉन्टेड टू कार्बन विच इज हैविंग वन हाइड्रोजन हियर डबल बॉन्ड कार्बन वन हाइड्रोजन हियर एंड देन इट इज हैविंग सी एच ओ ठीक है दिस वॉज एसिड एल्टी हाइट है ना मीथेनल यू कैन ऑल्सो है फॉर एग्जाम्पल इससे बड़ा ले लेते हैं इन जनरल अगर हम एल की बात करें आर सी एच टू ओ एच सी एच टू सी एच ओ लिखेंगे हम इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ एन ओ एच इट इज गोइंग टू गिव यू आर सी एच टू सी ओ एच एंड हाइड्रोजन द कार्बनल कार्बन ट्रांसफॉर्म्स टू ओ एच एंड देन यू विल हैव द कार्बन द एल्फा कार्बियर इट इज हैविंग वन हाइड्रोजन And one alkyl group like this, and whatever it may be, C S T हो सकता है, C two H five हो सकता है, कुछ भी हो सकता है. And here you will be having the C H two as it is. Once it is heated, this H two is removed from here, and you will have R C H two C H double bond C H further bonded to C H O. ठीक है. So this is in general for the aldehyde. Then Let us look at for ketones. What happens for ketones? You have, have CH three bonded to carbon atom that is doubly bonded to oxygen, which is further bonded to CH three. To react this with, let us suppose BaOH hold twice. ठीक है कुछ भी हो सकता है NaOH भी हो सकता है BH BH hold twice भी हो सकता है बीरियम हाइड्रोक्साइड कैन आल्सो भी है. By the way, this is not zero. ये heat है ना जल्दी जल्दी में zero आ गया. ठीक है. This is heat. So what is going to happen here? You will have the CH three as it is. ठीक. The carbon will be having OH and the CH three as it is. See, this carbon atom will be connected to the carbon, which is having two hydrogens. Further connected with carbon with the double bond O and CH three. We have made this compound just now. Once you heat it, H two O will be removed, and you will get CH three. carbon which is having a ch3 group here then double bond ch this carbon atom then you have c double bond o as it is then you have ch3 ek ek karke na agar aap tally karte rahe to find this ch3 is here this co is here this ch3 is here agle wale compound ka this ch3 is here this co is as it is this ch3 is as it is theek hai to ho jayega dheere dheere kijiyega to you need to just keep a tally on the carbon atoms Okay, as you can see, all of these compounds that we have written here, this is the functional group, this is the alpha carbon, this is the beta carbon. So there is a double bond between alpha and beta. This is the functional group, this is the alpha carbon, this is the beta carbon. Double bond between alpha and beta. This is the functional group, this is the alpha carbon, this is the beta carbon. So all of these compounds are in general known as alpha, beta, unsaturated product.
Okay, everyone is done. Now let us look at the mechanism here. Now in mechanism number one step is the attack of base. Okay, first of all, base is the attack. Karta hai, right? So what we can write? We can write attack of base on alpha hydrogen. We have OH negative as base. I am taking a uh, CH uh, ethanol. Le lete. We have carbon atom with three hydrogens and C double bond O, which is having a hydrogen atom here. Okay. This OH negative, it attacks on the hydrogen atom like this. Now, as soon as it attacks this hydrogen, it leaves the electron density on this carbon atom. It is going to give you carbon CH2. Here you have a lone pair. Why lone pair? Because hydrogen has left electrons. And due to that lone pair, you will have a negative charge. Further, it is bonded with C double bond O and hydrogen. Now, obviously, some of the acetaldehyde must have been reacted with base. There will be millions and billions of acetaldehyde which are as it is. So now this carbonyl that we have formed, this charged molecule that we are having, that is going to attack the other carbon atom. So we have CS3, carbonyl carbon, some of the unreacted, which has not reached the OH negative till now, the acetaldehyde, which have not reached the OH negative till now, they will be attacked by the CH2 negative, CHO. Now, as soon as the CH2 negative, it attacks on the carbonyl carbon. Why it is, it is attacking on the carbonyl carbon? Because this carbonyl carbon is going to be delta positive as it is attached with, it is doubly bonded with oxygen atom. Oxygen atom is going to pull electron density. So this will move here and we will get a product, which would look something like this, that is CS3. It is having carbon, it is having a O negative, it is having car hydrogen here, and CH2, CHO. This CH2 is forming bond with that carbon atom. Now, this is the second step. Second step, we have to call it formation. It's enolate bolte. This is generally known as enolate ion being attacked. This is enolate. So, we can say attack on off enolate. On carbonyl, and the synolate ion is attacking on the carbonyl. After that, the third step is quite e easy. That is the formation of formation of aldol. This O negative ion it will abstract the hydrogen from the water molecules that is present in the solution, and you will get CH three that is having C O negative. The hydrogen is here as it is. We have CH2 and then we have CHO. So it will attack on the hydrogen of water molecule. This will shift here. You will get CH3 bonded with carbon. OH, here you have hydrogen. CH2, CHO. Okay, so this is the mechanism. Please copy this down. It is very important to repeat all of these reactions, whatever we have done today. I'm just waiting for Yusuf, I guess. So Yusuf is also done. Next, we have a similar reaction, but it is cross aldol condensation. Okay. So we have looked at aldol condensation. And next, we have cross aldol condensation. In cross aldol condensation, we use a mixture, we use actually two different carbon compounds. Okay. So, yeah, right here, the condensation of the condensation of two different 
carbonyl compounds. in the presence of a base is called cross aldol condensation or mixed condensation mixed condensation ठीक है अब यहां पे देखें फॉर एग्जांपल वी हैव टेकिंग CH3CHO दो हम लोग ले रहे हैं CH3CHO प्लस CH3CH2CHO इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ अ बेस OH नेगेटिव अब ध्यान से सुनिए यहां पे क्या होता है सी मोस्ट ऑफ द Acetaldehyde that is ethanol will react with itself because whenever there is cross aldol condensation, what can happen? Self aldol condensation can also happen because let us suppose we have billions of molecules of both of these compounds. Right? We will say most of these compounds will be together itself because then water is in one place and the oil is in one place. So generally speaking, the molecules which are of the same type, they are together. And that is why what happens is for the majority of the part, you will have millions of molecules of CH3CHO which will react with, it, with itself. So you will get a product. You are going to get a product which will look like the product that you get on self aldol condensation. So first of all, you product in which you are doing self aldol condensation of CH3CHO. So for that, what you need to do? CH3CHO, you will have चार कार्बन आइटम्स तो रहते ही रहते हैं ठीक है हमेशा यू कैन सी व्हेनेवर यू हैव सी यहां पे दो बार CH आया ना सो यू कैन सी दैट यू हैव एट लीस्ट फोर कार्बन आइटम्स एक दो तीन चार तो यहां पे है एक दो तीन चार तो यहां पे है एंड दीस फोर आर हैविंग अ वेरी जेनेरिक टाइप ऑफ व्हाट यू कैन से अरेंजमेंट आल्सो CHO CH CHO CH डबल बॉन्ड CH डबल बॉन्ड CH हियर आल्सो यू कैन सी द सेम थिंग व्हेन यू आर मेकिंग द बीटा हाइड्रोक्सी एल्डिहाइड और कीटोन so for that i will just write four carbon atoms like this which will have cho because we have already done this that is why i am only writing and you will have oh here now this will be ch2 but yahan pe aapke paas ch3 ho jayega no ch2 ke baad r hota the r is actually hydrogen here so this will be ch3 and if you are going to heat it further then it is going to give you 1 2 3 4 CHO and there will be a double bond between alpha and beta. So this is the product that you will get when there is self aldol condensation of CH3 CHO. For CH3 CH2 CHO, again the same thing. We will have four carbon atoms: one, two, three, four. CHO. Then you will look at the alpha carbon. Okay. Now this alpha carbon it has CH3 group. So you have here one alpha carbon. Hai. This is the alpha carbon because here we are having OH. So this is going to get a CH3. And this is the alpha carbon because the carbon this is also going to get a CH3. Once you heat it, you will get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, if I say 1, 2, 3, 4, CHO, this double bond is as it is. Here you have CH3 and here you have CH3. Okay? So right now you have got product of what? The self-aldol condensation. Self-aldol condensation se mila. Now you are going to have some products, there will be some product which are formed when these two react with each other. When these two react with each other. Now, when ethanol is reacting with propanol, so propanol can inulate. Hoga. I mean, the attack on the carbonyl carbon can happen on ethanol also and propanol also. So, here will be two conditions. Ho sakte. Is whether CH3CHO is attacking the propanol, whether this attack is happening or this is attacking here. Chik hai? So in both the cases, you will have different products. So let us suppose, first of all, we are taking this one. So for the blue product, what I will say, I will say that the enolate of this is attacking here. So aapke paas iska to carbonyl carbon use hoga. And for this, we will use the alpha carbon. So for this, you have CH3CHO. So you'll just write CH3CHO. And the carbonyl carbon jaha attack hota, that becomes OH. So you'll write OH here like this. 
एंड फर्दर चार तो रहेंगे इस तरह से सी एच ओ नाउ द इनोलेट जिसका अल्फा कार्बन अटैक कर रहा है उसका आपको यहाँ पे सी एस थ्री डालना पड़ेगा बिकॉज वी आर वी आर हैविंग सी एस थ्री ऑल्सो फॉर द नेक्स्ट केस वंस यू हीट इट यूल हैव वन टू थ्री सी एच ओ द सी एस थ्री इज हियर एज इट इज एंड बी डबल बॉन्ड लाइक दिस फॉर द नेक्स्ट केस वॉट यू नीड टू डू वी नीड टू अटैक द कार्बनल ऑफ दिस कार्बन आइटम इसका कार्बन लिखने के लिए यू हैव थ्री कार्बन आइटम लाइक दिस सो यूल हैव वन टू थ्री एंड देन यूल राइट ओ एच and further this carbon atom it is having what two carbons only to two carbon to rehte hi rehte hain now this is oh the alpha carbon here it is having hydrogen so you don't need to write anything this is cho further when you heat it you will get 1 2 3 or 5 cho there will be a double bond here please copy this down Okay, everyone is done. So these are when they ask you know how many products will be formed. You will say always that whenever we are doing mixed condensation or cross aldol condensation, there will be four products formed. Now moving on, we have another topic that is determination of. This is related to the aldol condensation. Please write determination of. Reactants from. products of aldol condensation so here you will be given product and they will ask you what are the reactants or other they say that we want this product how will you how are you going to uh, plan the aldol condensation theek hai to in the aldol condensation reactions we have two different types of product ek to aapke paas alpha beta uh, sorry we have beta hydroxy aldehyde or ketone and we have alpha beta unsaturated aldehyde or ketone to jab aapke paas diya rahe let's suppose you have been given beta hydroxy ketone beta hydroxy aldehyde or ketone then how to make the product so for example you have been given something like this cs3 cho and here you have oh ठीक है, सो दिस इज द प्रोडक्ट दे आर आस्किंग हाउ आर यू गोइंग टू मेक दिस प्रोडक्ट आपको क्या करना आपको आइडेंटिफाई करना दी अल्फा कार्बन सो दिस इज माई फंक्शनल ग्रुप दिस इज माई अल्फा कार्बन दिस इज माई बीटा कार्बन वंस यू हैव आइडेंटिफाइड द अल्फा एंड बीटा कार्बन यू विल ब्रेक दिस आप बॉन्ड तोड़ दीजिएगा देन यू विल सी हाउ मनी कम हाउ मनी लाइक कार्बन आइटम्स आर रिमेनिंग है ना कितने कार्बन आइटम्स हियर यू हैव थ्री कार्बन आइटम्स हियर यू आल्सो हैविंग थ्री कार्बन आइटम्स ठीक है तीसरे कार्बन में ओएच OH है पहले आप इस फ्रैगमेंट को देख लीजिए सर लेट मी राइट दिस इन ब्लू वंस यू हैव कट इट यू विल इमेजिन दिस एज वन फ्रैगमेंट एंड यू विल इमेजिन दिस एज अनदर फ्रैगमेंट वंस यू हैव कट इट यू विल सी दैट ओके फाइन आई एम हैविंग थ्री कार्बन आइटम्स एंड दिस विल बी आइदर एल्डिहाइड और कीटोन सिंस ओएच इज इन द लास्ट कार्बन आइटम और द फर्स्ट कार्बन आइटम हाउ आर यू वांट टू से इन दिस फ्रैगमेंट इट इज गोइंग टू बी व्हाट एल्डिहाइड ऑफ थ्री कार्बन आइटम सो यू हैव CS3 Uh, I should write it like this. One, two, three, and this will be CHO. Plus, what is this fragment? CH three, CH two, CHO. One, two, three, CHO. So this is the product we are getting when we are reacting propane. उसी तरह से मान लीजिए आपके पास वो जिस तरह से आ जाए. Let us suppose you are having OH here. You are having CHO here, and you are having CH three here. You are asking how will you make this? How will you plan this particular aldol reaction? So identify the function group. This is my function group. This is the alpha carbon. And this is my beta carbon. You break these two. Once you break, you will see that the beta wala jo fragment hai, it is having two carbon atoms, and OH is in the last carbon atom. Okay. So you will say that this is. I mean, you can say that this is one degree type of thing. 
तो एल्डिहाइड ही होगा इसका दो कार्बन आइटम दैट इज सी एस थ्री सी एच ओ प्लस इफ यू सी दल्फा फ्रागमेंट यू कैन सी सी एस थ्री सी एच टू सी एच ओ सी एस थ्री सी एच टू सी एच ओ सो दैट मीन दिस प्रोडक्ट कैन ओनली बी फॉर्म वेन वी आर हैविंग वॉट वेन वी आर गोइंग टू हैव मिक्सड एल्डोल कंडेंसेशन ठीक है सो दिस इज क्वाइट ईजी वेन यू हैव टू डिडक्ट वॉट इज द रियक्टेंट रादर दैन दी प्रोडक्ट आपको एल्फा और बीटा के बीच में बस बॉन्ड ब्रेक करना है एंड देन यू नीड टू कैटेगराइज लाइक ओके फाइन दिस बीटा फ्रैगमेंट में आपके पास एल डी आई डाइन लेट सपोज यू हैव समथिंग लाइक दिस यू हैव सी एच ओ हियर यू हैव ओ एच एंड हियर ओनली यू हैव सी एच थ्री एंड हियर लेट एस सपोज यू आर हैविंग एक सेकेंड नहीं करता है One, two, three, four carbon atoms. C double bond O. Here you have CS three, and here you have CS three. No, let's suppose we don't have CS three here. Here you have OH, and here you have CS three. Okay. Now, where is my functional group? This is my functional group. This is my alpha carbon. This is my beta carbon. You break the alpha and beta. So in the beta fragment, you will see you have the beta is two degree. The alcohol here that you are having after breaking, I mean, say, no, this to break, anyway, it is two degree. So if it is two degree, that means it is going to be ketone because you have this carbon atom which is having OH. It is having carbon atom on the right side as well as the right left side. So we can make this product by using CS three C double bond O CS three. That will be the beta fragment. The alpha fragment is going to be what CS three C double bond O CS three CS three. C double bond O and then C S three. This is the alpha fragment. So we have taken into consideration all of the most of the examples. Let us suppose they have not given you the beta hydroxy aldehyde or ketone. Rather, they gave you the second option could be alpha beta unsaturated aldehyde or ketone. Let us suppose they are giving you this particular. Type of product. Then how are we going to make it? Mante, you have. Let us suppose we have the first example. Okay. So you have. You have O H here, and then you have. Let us suppose C H O here, and then you have C S three here. Okay. So if we add it, then you have double bond here. ठीक है नाउ सेम थिंग आपको यहां पे भी करना है यू ब्रेक द डबल बॉन्ड और अल्फा और बीटा के बीच में दिस इज अल्फा दिस इज बीटा ठीक है सी एच ओ ना अल्फा बीटा यू ब्रेक द डबल बॉन्ड एंड यू विल सी हाउ मेनी कार्बन आइटम्स वन टू थ्री एंड तीन में रुक जा रहा है तो दैट मीन इट इज सी एच ओ ना द थर्ड कार्बन आइटम इज द बीटा कार्बन ना तो वहां पर सी एच ओ हो जाएगा एंड इफ यू लुक एट दी अल्फा फ्रैगमेंट दिस इज ऑल्सो गोइंग टू बी सी एस थ्री सी एच टू सी एच ओ सो वन टू थ्री सी एच ओ But let us suppose you have something else. You have one, two, three like this, and then you have what? 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 Let's suppose you have like this: C double bond O and C S three, and then you have a double bond here. Okay. Now, when you break this, this is the alpha. This is the beta. When you break this, so for the beta, you can see that is the terminal carbon. A, B, two, three, one, two, three. This is the beta, so this is going to be C H O plus. You have one, two, three. So this is also going to be a, this is going to be a ketone. C double bond O, like this. The alpha fragment you can see that it is a ketone. Let's suppose you have something like this: one, two, three. C double bond O. Then you have a double bond here. Let's suppose you don't have this, but rather you have something like this. C S three. ठीक है. अब यहाँ पे अगर आप देखेंगे, and if you see this is the alpha carbon and beta carbon. This is beta. You break it like this. Now you see one, two, three. ठीक है. One, two, three ऐसे. और double bond कौन से carbon में था? Beach वाले carbon में. So it is. It cannot be aldehyde. It will be ketone like this. Plus you have this fragment one, two, three. This is also ketone. So when you react these two in the presence of a base, you will get. And further, when you heat it, you are going to get this type of product. Can you please write this down?
Raise your hand if you're done, guys. Is everyone done? Raise your hand if you're done. You write some remarks. Remarks will take us as a pile point. Aldehyde and ketones that do not contain alpha hydrogen don't undergo self aldol condensation. For example, what are these molecules? You have molecules such as formaldehyde. Formaldehyde, it is HCHO. Now, since this formaldehyde, it does not have any alpha carbon, so alpha hydrogen will use it. Similarly, you have benzaldehyde. Benzaldehyde is what? It is benzene ring, which is attached with CHO. This is the carbon, this is the group, this is the alpha carbon. This alpha carbon does not have any hydrogen. No? SK pass already charged bonds. Benzaldehyde cannot give. Similarly, you have benzophenone. Benzene ring. Carbon carbonyl carbon. Carbonyl carbon. Carbonyl carbon. Then again, benzene ring. So here also, both of these alpha carbons, they are not having any hydrogen. That is why they cannot undergo aldol condensation. See, that's the first point regarding that. Next point is aldehyde and ketones that don't have alpha hydrogen can undergo Cross aldol condensation with such aldehyde and ketones that have alpha hydrogen. Okay. So even the formaldehyde, the gift, whenever we are reacting, when aldol condensation ho raha hota hai, so in aldol condensation, there are two reactive sites. Ek to alpha hydrogen ki hona zaruri hai. And when the alpha hydrogen is removed, that carbon gets negative charge and that carbon attacks the carbonyl carbon. So when we need two molecules, a molecule ke pas alpha hydrogen rana, it is mandatory. And the other molecule should only have carbonyl carbon. Jaha carbonyl carbon pe attack ho hai, that we just need the carbonyl carbon. We don't need the other alpha hydrogens at all. So if a compound is not having alpha hydrogen, they can go aldol condensation, but that will be cross aldol condensation. And also with such aldehyde and ketones that has alpha hydrogen. So in cross aldol condensation, dono ke pass alpha hydrogen ho bhi sakta hai, ek ke pass nahi bhi ho chale. Hai. So we will see an example of formaldehyde with CH3CHO. So we have HCHO that is formaldehyde plus we will have CH3CHO. Now when these two are reacting, as you know that this is having alpha hydrogen, is ke pass alpha hydrogen nahi hai. This is having alpha hydrogen and this is not having alpha hydrogen. This is alpha. If a cross cross like the other way, you have a alpha is present, and you have alpha. So, if you have been given a reaction such as CS3CHO, and you have to make a product, 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 you have to make a product. Now, what is going to happen? You have to. यहां पे आपके पास क्या होगा ध्यान से देखिए दैट जिसके पास अल्फा कार्बन नहीं है ना जिसके पास अल्फा कार्बन नहीं है अल्फा हाइड्रोजन नहीं है फॉर दैट यू विल एक्सपैंड द कार्बोनिल आप इसे कार्बोनिल के एक्सपैंड कीजिए इस तरह से ठीक है वंस यू हैव एक्सपैंडेड द कार्बोनिल यू विल एक्सपैंड द अल्फा जिसका अल्फा उसका अल्फा एक्सपैंड कर दीजिए और दूसरे वाले का कार्बोनिल एंड यू हैव CHO दिस हाइड्रोजन विल शिफ्ट हियर 
and you will get first of all so as soon as it shifts you can see that you have have ch2 oh further bonded with ch2 and cho once you are going to heat it then this let me show you guys dikhna zaruri hai otherwise it will be difficult the side again is like this तो ये आपके पास वाटर यहां से निकल जाएगा एंड यू विल हैव वन टू थ्री कार्बन आइटम्स सी एच ओ और फर्स्ट और सेकंड अल्फा बीटा के बीच में क्या हो जाएगा डबल बॉन्ड हो जाएगा ठीक है सो दिस इज द प्रोडक्ट दैट यू आर गोइंग टू आफ्टर हीटिंग ये पहला आपको मिलेगा इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ बिग्स और आपको देखना है तो देख लीजिए एक एसिटोन के साथ भी एच सी एच ओ प्लस यू हैव सी एच थ्री सी डबल बॉन्ड ओ सी एस थ्री तो यहां पर आपके पास सेम थिंग हाइड्रोजन कार्बन डबल बॉन्ड ओ सिंगल बॉन्ड हाइड्रोजन प्लस अल्फा हाइड्रोजन कार्बन में तीन लगे हुए हाइड्रोजन सी डबल बॉन्ड ओ सी एस थ्री फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वेन यू हैव ओ एच नेगेटिव दिस हाइड्रोजन विल शिफ्ट हियर विल हैव सी एच टू बॉन्डेड विथ ओ एच then you'll have ch carbon with two hydrogens like this then you'll have c double bond o and then ch3 after you heat it this is gone you have 1 2 3 4 carbon atoms second carbon atom is double bond o and third and fourth carbon atom is having double bond like this raise your hand once you are done okay now is done theek okay. hai right next clays and condensation this is just a different name we have seen similar type of reactions theek hai uh clays and condensation ya fir iska ek aur naam hota hai jisko us lamba naam hai that is clays and schmidt reaction clays and schmidt reaction even though this name is not there in the ncert but is tarah ke reactions ho sakte hain so ye kab hota hai when you have एल्डोल कंडेंसेशन ही करना है एल्डोल कंडेंसेशन बट इन दिस एल्डोल कंडेंसेशन यू विल हैव एरोमेटिक एक होगा एरोमेटिक और दूसरा होगा एलिकट बिटवीन एरोमेटिक एंड एरोमेटिक एंड एलिकैटिक एल्डिहाइड और किटोन्स ठीक है तो यहाँ पे मान लीजिए आपके पास एक हम एग्जांपल लेते हैं का है ना सो वी हैव प्लस लेट्स वी आर टेकिंग एसिडोन एसिडोन इज सी एस थ्री सी डबल बॉन्ड ओ एंड सी एस थ्री ठीक है इसका करना है हम लोग को एलो कंडेंसेशन सो वॉट इज गोइंग टू हैपन बी सी एज दिस इज नॉट है इसके पास एल्फा हाइड्रोजन नहीं है दिस इज है so i will expand the carbonyl of this aldehyde aldehyde ke liye niche ek hydrogen aa jayega upar double bond o and here you will have the benzene ring theek hai like this plus you will have the alpha hydrogen hydrogen carbon hydrogen hydrogen c double bond o and then ch3 the hydrogen will shift here we'll get the benzene ring as it is 
have C O H and hydrogen. You'll have then C H two. Then you'll have C double bond O and C S three. Give me a second. Now, after heating it, you will get the benzene ring. Then you have one, two, three, four. No. One, two, three, four, five. So this is pH benzene ring attached to this carbon atom. This was having OH. So this carbon is a double bond here. And this second carbon, it is carbon as it is. Okay. So this is the product that you are going to get. Then everyone. Ah, huh, guys, everyone done? Yes, sir. Yes. Right next. Any zero reaction. Is right. This kind of reaction it is given by given by those aldehyde and ketones that doesn't have alpha hydrogen. Okay. So what happens? All right, they undergo Self oxidation and reduction in the presence of concentrated alkali. Okay, the third drastic condition. So you have HCHO. This is one of the this is one of the aldehydes which does which does not have any alpha hydrogen in the presence of concentrated NaOH. Okay, so one carbon atom is aldehyde ka oxidation. Karna hai. Oxidation karenge, aapko kya milega? H C O O H milega. But please remember, basic condition hai. In the basic condition, C O H na milke C O O negative or Na milega. Hai na? You will get the acetate ion. You will not get acetic acid. Because acid to hai sakta na, because basic condition hai. Basic condition mein hydrogen nikal ke Na jayega. और इसी तरह से एल्डिहाइड का अगर रिडक्शन होता है देन वी गेट अल्कोहल तो आपको मिल जाएगा एक कार्बन का अल्कोहल CH3OH सिमिलरली फॉर एग्जांपल इफ यू हैव बेंजेलडिहाइड इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ कंसंट्रेटेड NaOH आपको एक कार्बन का बेंजोएट मिलेगा है ना लेफ्ट COO नेगेटिव Na और दूसरा आपको क्या मिल जाएगा रिडक्शन होके बेंजाइल अल्कोहल इस कार्बन आटम में भी है तो एक कार्बन बेंजीन एक कार्बन उसके बाद OH Then you will write the last one that is electrophilic aromatic substitution.
Series. You will write first of all aldehyde and ketones, aldehyde and ketones. Both are deactivating. Both are deactivating groups due to. Minus M effect. Okay. Then you will, and therefore, these are, therefore, they are less reactive towards electrophilic aromatic substitution and gives meta product. Gives meta product. Okay. There are a few reactions. A reaction the sub copy kali jiga. Apke ek product milega. You have benzene D high. When you react this chlorination karenge iska Cl2 in the presence of FeCl3, you will get meta chloro benzene D high. Nitration karenge to meta nitro benzene D high. Sulfonation karenge to meta oxo sulfonic acid. ठीक है. Further when you do the same thing for acid to acid of phenol, to apko chloro acid to phenol. M nitro acid of phenol, this is M oxo sulfonic acid. This is how you get the Better name is ये होगा कि M में M benzyl dehyde कर लेते हैं इसको ज़्यादा अच्छा ही रहेगा benzyl dehyde sulfonic acid ठीक है now instead of all of these uh, benzyl dehyde benzyl dehyde benzyl dehyde यहाँ पे acid of phenol आ जाएगा बस है ना M acid of M chloro acid of phenol M nitro acid of phenol M acid of phenol sulfonic acid that's it Is everyone done? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. So can you uh, guys please see the uh, learn with your app? There you will have an assessment for aldehyde and ketones. Just let me know, is it there? Yes, sir. 